Hi, I'm Ed. Welcome to our special Euro 2008 edition of Sports Fix. This weekend sees the tournament kicking off in Baal. And with no British teams involved, we thought we'd look at the alternatives. Who really is the best team to support this summer? Well, let's start with one of the hosts, Switzerland. They may not be one of the favourites, but with their beautiful mountains and their long history of neutrality, it's hard not to like the Swiss. I mean, any country that produces the genius of Roger Federer has got to be worth getting behind. But if you need a further reason to get behind the Swiss, look at the cool stuff they've been up to recently. There's this guy. Hey, an inventor such as Frank Rindernet, who designed this incredible James Bond-inspired underwater car. Brilliant. Well, this fella, known as Fusion Man, has been testing out his homemade jet-powered wings over the Swiss Alps. Who said they only made clocks and chocolate, eh? Next on our list is France. Now, I know relations between us and the French can often be a little bit frosty, but let's face it, we love them really, don't we? Far from being cheese-eating surrender monkeys, they're people of culture, the home of the great Tour de France, the best wine and the tastiest bread, and of course, the city of love. And speaking of love, it seems our two nations are entering a new era of intimacy. Don't take my word for it, apparently we've entered something called the Entente Amicale. What Nicholas has rightly called the Entente Amicale. And of course, we've all fallen in love with Carla Bruni. Only the French could have a first lady with such style. Look at the Duke of Edinburgh. He's definitely smitten. And when it comes to football, their top players have been lighting up our league with their certain je ne sais quoi. Only a French player could kick somebody in the crowd and still be thought of as cool. But if France doesn't float your boat, how about Spain? Now, we reckon Spain might be the Liberals' choice. Under José Luis Zapatero, they've led the way for the rest of Europe in terms of equality, making gay marriages legal and having a predominantly female cabinet. Not bad. But if you couldn't care less about their politics, how about the fact that we've been invading Spain for years, soaking up the sun on the Costa del Sol? Then when it comes to football, they've been just as useless as us when it comes to big tournaments. But now with the likes of Fabregas and Torres, players who flourished on English soil, Spain have a real chance of breaking that duck. So viva la España! I mean, if you squint a little, Xavi Alonso even looks a little bit like Steven Gerrard. Finally, we're going to suggest you get behind the Netherlands, and not just because of the pretty ladies. Is there any nation in Europe who are more like us Brits? For a start, who else but the Dutch loves darts as much as we do? But they're not all about booze and pub games. No, if it wasn't for the Dutch, we'd have no flowers on Valentine's Day. And look at the pretty canals. They're eco-friendly too, riding around on bikes all the time. Then, when it comes to the beautiful game, no one else plays sexy football like the Dutch, eh, rude? We've been worshipping the likes of Dennis Bergkamp and their brand of total football for years. So, there are our four suggestions for your support at Euro 2008. You never know, without any of the home nations, we might actually be able to enjoy the football for once. We'll see you next week.